Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do the furry friend tag with this little guy here. So if you're interested, please keep watching and let's start the video. I'm just gonna answer the typical furry friend tag questions that you've probably seen about uh, my dog. So the first question is, what is your animal's name? Uh, his name is Peyton. And that is not for Peyton Manning, it is just for Peyton. Every time I tell people, like, when they meet Peyton, they say, oh, is it for Peyton Manning? And I'm just like, no, <laughs> it's just for Peyton. So, um, yeah, his name is Peyton. What type of pet is it and what breed? Um, I think I already said that um, he is a dog, and Peyton is a toy poodle. How long have you had your friend? Um, I've had Peyton for almost one year. It'll be a year in May. Um, I got him in May of 2017. How did you receive your pet? I got Peyton through a reputable breeder. Um, he was, I uh, got him through a breeder through the American Kennel Club that I liked and uh, yeah, so that's where I got him from. <laughs> I bought him from a breeder. How old is uh, your pet? Peyton is one year old. His birthday is in March, so he just turned one year old and it looks like he's falling asleep. Oh baby. <laughs> What are some quirky aspects of your pet? Um, well, one, as you probably noticed, that he kind of just likes to stare. Uh, that's one thing. I'll, I'll just kind of like see him just like staring, um, not necessarily just at me, but just in general, like at my husband or at um, like anything. He just like, he will just fixate and stare, which kind of leads me to his other quirky thing. Um, he, if you've seen the movie Twilight, do you remember at, uh, they were talking about like imprinting, how the werewolves can't control like their imprinting? That's this guy. He imprints on dogs at the dog park. Um, and it'll always be just like one dog and it's like a different dog each time. So like the whole time we're at the dog park, he is just like, he will like usually only be playing with like one dog and like that's the only dog he cares about and it's like, it's kind of cute, but also kind of annoying, cause like, especially if the other dog is tired of playing with Peyton and he's trying to play with other dogs, Peyton is usually like right on their heels, like, no, play with me. <laughs> so uh, that would be something pretty quirky. But for the most part, uh, Peyton is a typical toy poodle. Um, you know, they're smart, loving, affectionate, um, really good watchdogs. But yeah, for the most part, he is a typical toy poodle. What does your connection with your dog imply to you? Um, Peyton means a lot to me. He is just like, he's literally so perfect. And um, people who know me personally know how much I was like obsessing over getting a dog and um, how I finally, you know, decided on um, toy poodles and like the different breeds, different breeders. Like I was like a crazy person. And I really think I just like hit the nail on the head with um, Peyton. He's just like everything that I ever wanted. And he is just like, to me, he is just like so perfect. And um, he just means a lot to me. And um, yeah, you're a good boy. He's just, it's just like everything. He's just like literally like the perfect little guy. So yeah, definitely. Definitely well worth the research and time and energy because he is just literally perfect. What are your favorite pastimes with your dog? Um, for me, my favorite pastimes are pretty much just like life in general. Uh, and I say that because like one of the many factors on uh, why I decided on a toy poodle is uh, the size. And uh, Peyton is, as you can see, very small. Um, He's very easy to travel with. Um, right now he's uh, just over five pounds, so he can fit in um, anything. And um, I take him literally everywhere. Um, I rarely go anywhere without him, unless I just like kick out like at a restaurant or something like that. But for the most part, um, Peyton is always with me. And even, um, even if there are some places that don't like dogs, I have snuck him in to some places, um, cause I have a really nice carrier for him by um, Sleepy Pod, um, Sleepy Pod Air. I'll try to put a picture so you can see I'm talking about. But unless you know it's a dog carrier, um, it doesn't really look like a dog carrier, or at least to me it doesn't look like a dog carrier. So I'll put him in there and I'll just like have it on my, um, I'll just wrap it around my back so it just looks like a bag. And there's a dog in there and people don't even know. So, cause he's really quiet in his carrier. 
So um, it's really nice to just take them anywhere. So even if they don't have a lot of dogs, I'll bring them anyway. <laughs> and the last question is, does your pet have any nicknames? Um, Peyton doesn't have any nicknames. I just call him Peyton. He is just like, um, yeah, just Peyton, so no nicknames. And also, I do want to mention uh, something about uh, more about his appearance, just in case anybody had any questions. Peyton is in what's called a teddy bear clip. Um, so a lot of people don't realize that he is a pure um, poodle because of the haircut that I keep him in. Because generally, when you think of a poodle, you think of like the shaved face and all that stuff. But um, I do not, I don't, I don't really care for that look too much, so I just think it looks so much cuter with um, all of their, you know, fluffy hair. So I keep him in what's called a teddy bear clip. And also his coloring is silver blue. So his face, his legs, they're pretty much silver, but um, when you look at his body, it's more of the blue color. Um, this may go silver, it may not. Um, because he's, he's, I mean, he's already one year old. Uh, poodle coat color changes uh, vary. So he may get a little lighter. His dad is pure silver. But um, other than that, he's probably, he might be done. He's, yeah, he's done. He's ready to get down. So I'm going to put him down. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.